Chair, for your leadership on issues of accountability and oversight, and thank you to the commissioners for joining us here today. I want to jump right into an issue that has led to a great outcry and uh, phone calls to my office from investment firms and religious organizations throughout my district, Massachusetts 7th. Chairman Clayton, yes or no, are you familiar with the history of the shareholder resolution? I'm sorry, uh, the, share, the shareholder? The shareholder resolution, specifically the first shareholder resolution filed on a social issue? Um, I actually, I, I need some help here. Okay. So in 1971, Episcopal Church presiding Bishop John Hines presented to the Board of General Motors a shareholder resolution filed by the church requesting that the company stop doing business in South Africa. Many members serving in Congress, including our very own chairwoman here, were on the front lines of this fight, using every financial tool to force behavioral change on the part of corporations and by extension society at large. My colleagues on the other side of the aisle often point to the role of the private sector in addressing any number of social and economic issues. Climate change, human rights, labor standards, all pressing issues. Issues that everyday investors in public companies can currently inform. Right now, all that is required to submit a shareholder resolution or to resubmit one on issues like these is to own $2,000 in stocks. Your commission wants to change that threshold. Some of our Republican colleagues have supported legislation that will require a 1% threshold to file a resolution. In other words, to file a resolution at ExxonMobil, which has a market capitalization of $347 billion, an investor would need to own over $3 billion in stock. Chairman Clayton, yes or no, do you think it's responsible to require an investor to own over $3 billion in shares just to file a simple resolution? Um, I'm going to give you an answer you like, but not a yes or no answer. That, that number is way too high as a threshold, um, as a responsible threshold for engagement. And so what will the new threshold be? We're, we're, we're working on it, but what will the new threshold be? What, in my ideal world, we can't live in an ideal world, but in my ideal world, it would be a threshold that allows access for people who are long-term investors in a company um, and have a meaningful stake, but a meaningful stake at a personal level, but eliminates some of the, what I would say is, uh, I don't like it that 25 or 30 percent of the proposals that we see are from a handful of people. I want people to have engagement. And I'm, you know, so I'm just wondering who you've I'm heard. Seeing, I'm, seeing if we can I'm seeing if we can improve this. Okay, I'm just, but I'm just wondering, again, what informed this. So I know who I've heard from mm -hmm. in my district, the Massachusetts 7th. I've heard from religious investors like Sisters of St. Joseph's. I've heard from AFL-CIO. I've heard from Sisters of Notre Dame, the Unitarian Universalist denominations, the Episcopal Diocese of Massachusetts, First Parish Cambridge, investment firms like Loring, Wolcott, Coolidge, Boston Trust Walden, and Trillium Asset Management, all who are opposed to any changes to this process. So who did you hear from? other than the Chamber and the National Association of Manufacturers and the Business Roundtable. Where is this coming from? What's the genesis? Yeah, we, we've heard from a number of, of companies. And look, on whether those entities will be able to make proposals, I'm only speaking for myself. My colleagues can have th their comments. Uh, I'm not looking to keep those people from being able to make proposals. Um, we are looking, I will say we are looking at the resubmission thresholds. I'm looking at the resubmission thresholds more closely than the initial thresholds. And one of the reasons is those resubmission thresholds, they were set, like I said a few moments ago, at a time when the mails were how we communicated. People are fairly aware of what's being voted on. I'm just going to claim my so. time because okay. the Sorry. clock is dying. No, I appreciate that. It's just that, you know, we are facing an unprecedented crisis, and chief among them being climate change. And we need every tool and all tools available to us uh, in this fight. And the SEC's mission is to first and foremost protect investors. So I urge you to reconsider any changes to the shareholder resolution process. Thank you, and I yield 